Hello. How do you feel about the word discipline? Hi, I'm Lady Terry B. Jones, the creator of What the Scriptures Say Day Scripture Memorization Techniques, where every day we're spending 5 to 20 minutes in the Word of God, becoming more like Him, equipping ourselves to do the work of ministry so we can compel men to give their lives to Christ, right? And so, when it comes to discipline, is that like a good word? Is that something that you like have pretty much set your everything that you do around being disciplined? Because discipline is what it will take to get things done, right? And so on today, as we are memorizing Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 through 6, we do on Monday, what do we do on Mondays? We write it. We write the word of God with a pen and paper right and so what does that do that is actually helping us to put discipline in our life discipline is like structure okay and so we need to have structure in our lives so that when we encounter situations we'll be able to handle them according to what is written right and so that's what uh, jesus used when the devil came to him you know, after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights and he tempted him. And, and what did he say? It is written, right? And so that's what we do. If you do not have the scripture memorization guide, click on the link below, download it, and I'll get it to your e-box. And guess what? Also, we are in the middle of our Bible reading challenge where we're reading Genesis to Revelation. And every day we have a set of scriptures to read. Today, we only have one chapter to read in Numbers, which is chapter 7. And it's pretty lengthy, okay? And so, that's why we only have the one chapter today, all right? And so, I want to go ahead on, and if you do not have the Bible Reading Challenge calendar, let me know as well in the comments, and I'll get that to you as well in your inbox, along with all the other really cool things that I share in my newsletter, okay? And I want you to comment below. What are your thoughts around the word discipline? Okay. Is that something that you do use every day, you know, in making sure you get everything done that you have uh, set out to do for the day? Okay. And when we're writing these scriptures that we're memorizing, which is Psalms 1 verses 1 through 6, you know, it talks about being blessed and meditating on the word of God. Okay. So as you write in this scripture down three times, one for the father, one for the son, one for the Holy ghost, right? That's when you actually disciplining yourself to actually meditate on the word, you know, spend that time so you can hear from God. Like, what is he saying to you? Yes, I'm blessed, but what do you mean by that? Okay. And so that's when you spend that quality time with God, getting the answers. Okay. And so maybe some of the questions you have around the scriptures that you're memorizing so that when you do go out, go out, you know, you'll be confident, you know, to share the word and share a revelation that God has given you to somebody, you know, that needs to know that they're blessed. Okay. And so let me go ahead on and switch over to the Bible trivia question for today. And it comes from Numbers chapter 7, verse 6, which says, And Moses took the wagons and the oxen and gave them unto who? Comment your answer below and tune in on tomorrow where I'll reveal to you the correct answer. And the answer to yesterday's question was peace. So, I am Lady Terry B. Jones, the creator of the Church Brewer Board Game and What the Scriptures Say, Memorization Techniques. And so, what I want you to do, share, like, let somebody else know what we're doing so that we can, as a community, uh, begin to know what is written in God's word. Okay. In the meantime, give someone a hug, show someone a smile and let someone know that Jesus loves them and you love them too. I'll talk to you tomorrow with the next scripture memorization technique.